Theater 5 presents The Kiff-Off. Hey, Dolly, supper time. Why, why, why? It's chow time, Dolly. I made a reservation on the mess hall. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Tomorrow you can make your own reservation on the outside. You're a lucky guy. Not many cons your age walk out of the can on their own power. Yeah, I'm not that old, Sam. Ah, go on. I've seen your sheik. You was born August 3, 1899. A Leo. Only a Leo could take stir for 30 years like you've done. What's it going to be when you get out, Dolly? What are you going to do? Do? First, I'm going to leave the fair city of Atlanta. I'm heading straight for Shy and see if they still got any of that good Canadian whiskey. I'm going to walk down a shaky's joint on State Street. I'm going to walk through the loop. I'm going to get a lung full of that sweet air off the lake. While I'm enjoying myself, I'm going to kill one man so dead that he'll give the graveyard to Willie. He's going to die a little for every day, every hour I've spent in here. What'll it be, sir? Uh, what are you making? Martini, extra dry on the rock. Yeah. Hey, you're different. I never seen you before. This whole joint different. <laughs> so I'm different. Uh, what's he gonna be, Dad? <laughs> you mean he's Dad? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean nothing. Take it easy, huh? Okay, okay. Uh, you can eat some of that Canadian rye. Canadian rye is. And leave the bottle there and give me a, a short beer. Short beer. Okay, that's better. Now you go find Lefty Milney for me and send him to me. He still hangs out here, don't he? Yeah, sure. Say, you must be Dolly Palatka, right? Big Dolly Palatka. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Palatka. Uh, my old man told me all about you. I'm sorry. All right, all right, forget it. Uh, Lefty said you'd be dropping in. He's waiting for you at the end of the bar. Where? You mean that guy? That's Lefty? Yeah, yeah, sure. Hey, Lefty. Hey, you. Hey, Russ. Who are you calling Russ? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Dolly. <laughs> Big Dolly. Who'd you think it was, Buddy Rogers? <laughs> I've been waiting here all day ever since I got your letter. Hey, how'd you get my address? In a phone book. Imagine you being listening to phone books just like anybody else. Hey, you changed, Lefty. Uh, you ain't been taking care of yourself. Hey, you been sick or something? What happened? Time, boss, time. Boss? <laughs> I ain't been called boss since they sent me up. So tell me, what have you, you been doing all these years? You go back to bank jobs? No, boss, no bank, no nothing. Things sort of went to pieces when you fell out of the picture. Yeah, everybody went their way. The speaks went out, we had a depression, then there was a war. Everything was different. Now... If you ain't part of a big organization, you ain't nothing. They got it all tied up. No strike action, no protection, no bank job, nothing. Everybody's like, uh, legitimate. Yeah? Uh, what, what have you been doing all these years? Maybe you heard. I done five for armed robbers. Yeah, yeah, I heard something. Yeah. Tried to knock over a check cashing place. Yeah. After I got out of Joliet, I wasn't much good no more. Yeah, so what are you doing now? Now? Yeah, yeah, now. I'm, uh, pushing a hack. Nah. No kidding. You know, sometimes I don't believe it myself. But it ain't bad. It ain't bad. <laughs> you were the best getaway driver in the business. Ah, I forget all that. Things are going to be different from now on. Big Dolly is back. Oh, what's on your mind, Dolly? Reorganization. And you're in it with me all the way, Lefty. We get the best of the old mob together, and we, we, we form our own gang. Like, like they don't understand today. Chicago style. We'll show these monkeys what it's all about. I ain't heard somebody say mob 
For a long time. Yeah, but it's been a long time, Dolly. How are you going to get started? First, I'm going to serve notice that I'm back by collecting a little debt that somebody owes. Yeah? Who's that? Frankie Carlo. Who's Frank Carlo? Oh, yeah, yeah, Fat Frank. <laughs> you ain't never forgotten, have you? Forgotten? <laughs> That's the only thing that got me through those miserable years. For the first ten in Atlanta, I ran a punch press. I cut fist-sized holes out of sheet metal. And every time the punch came down on a piece of tin with 2,000 pounds of pressure, I pretended it was Carlo's fat face. I killed him a thousand times a day. I lost everything because of that squealer. Now I want to hear him scream. Uh, it's been 30 years. He's probably forgotten if he ain't dead by now. Oh, no, he ain't dead. While I was in jail, he's been living the good life in some place they call Woodvale. I never heard of no Woodvale. Yeah, it's out toward Iron City. Oh. We used to call it Cabbage Town. Yeah, sure. That's, uh, that's where the Shamrock Gang used to hang out, right? Did he hook up with them? No, no. They're all gone a long time. I remember now. His old lady has a beauty parlor. Legit. What were you figuring? We're going to give him a ride and an overcoat. A concrete overcoat. What are you doing, Lefty? You want to pick up Nutsy Dugan, right? What are you doing in the city park? See the guy up there on the bench? Yeah. Up to the right. Uh, you, you mean the, the bum feeding the pigeons, huh? Yeah, that's Nutsy. You mean th that pile of rags? That's my bodyguard? That's right. How old is he now? Nutsy? Oh, 70, 72. Forget him. Well, he's only five, seven years older than me. I said forget him. He's an old man. How, how does he live? We well, get the social security check. About 15, maybe 20 years ago, he got a job as a doorman at a new apartment. Pretty nice job. A Nazi? Wearing a monkey suit? He retired a couple of years ago. Gets along pretty good. An old man. I mean, a, a really old man. Even you don't look like that. I mean, the bear. Tell me the truth, Lefty. Do I look old? Well, uh, you ain't the same guy I knew in 33. Yeah, but I still got the mark. I got the mark. Yeah, sure, sure, boss. Uh, what do you say we go get Willie? I can find him. I don't want no more surprises. Slick Willie Hill. He was more of a sharp, snappy type guy. What's his record? Uh, maybe you better forget it, Dolly. He's half blind, lost an arm. Yeah? Was it a gang or the cops? No, uh, just got hit by a truck. Got a chunk of dough for it. He's got a nice newsstand downtown. Says he's better off than ever. Oh, he'd get a kick out of seeing you, boy. No, no, forget it. Okay, so we, uh, we changed the signal. How do you mean, boy? Forget the ride, forget the cement job. It's just you and me now, Lefty. Maybe, maybe it's better that way. We will take care of Frankie Carlo ourselves. You, you, you still want to go through with it? Ain't you got the message? We're washed up. Has been. We're through. Not me. Not big Dolly Palatka. I got plenty of fist left. I ain't gone through 30 years in a prison cell to sit on a park bench while Carlo goes free. And you're with me. Okay, okay. All you got to do is drive me while I drill Carlo and then take me to the Dutchman's hideout in Wisconsin. The Dutchman? He runs a motel now. Will he hide you? Yeah, I got a reservation right in this shoulder holster. Okay, boss. I'll drive. Captain, Captain, I was just sorting out Rita's wedding present. Well, be careful. You break everything you touch. There's a lot of presents. Must be worth a lot of loot. Your daughter's having a nice, high-class marriage, no thanks to you. 
Let me see how you dress. Eh, you look all right, I guess. But just keep quiet. And maybe nobody will know that you were fat Frankie Carlo. All right, all right. Why don't you forget it? How can I forget it on your daughter's wedding day? Anyhow, she's marrying a nice kid from a good family. And why shouldn't she? She's just as good as anybody. Everybody thinks the world of her. She's a wonderful girl. Yeah, hasn't been easy. Don't light that cigar in here. Look, I'm nervous. People may come over after the wedding and I don't want the house smelled up. Smoke a cigarette. I ain't got any cigarettes. There's a box of them right in front of you, stupid. Yes, hey, that's kind of cute. Don't pick that up. I'm just looking. What the... Be careful. Put it down. Don't yell. Oh, now you've done it. I've done it. You dropped it. You broke it. I wouldn't if you didn't yell at me all the time. It was a genuine crystal cigarette box from Rita's in-laws. I'm sorry. Honest, I'm sorry. You are sorry. I've been sorry from the first day I met you. What happened? Hey, what are you yelling about? Your father just broke that beautiful crystal cigarette box. Oh, no. That's what happened. Michael's mother will ask about it. I just know she will. Oh, Pop, why do you have to ruin everything you touch? Look, your father used to be a tough guy and a mob, and he still thinks he's a gorilla. Well, he acts like a gorilla. You ought to keep him in a cage. I'm sorry, Rita. It was an accident. I... You're always having accidents. Why can't I have a father like other people do? You, you're an old... Hey, wait a minute. I won't have you talking like that to me. Do you hear me? I won't have it or I'll... Or what? Or nothing, that's what. Father, I could think of a hundred better things to call you. Dolores, please. Not in front of the kids. She's not a kid anymore. She might as well hear everything. She's a woman. And she's got to live with knowing what her father is. This afternoon she becomes a wife, so there's no reason she can't hear everything that's to be heard. But that's what I mean, sort of. Now that she's getting married and there'll be new people around and all, can't we talk a little better to one another? It's been a long time since we had any good words between us. There's always trouble in the house. And whose fault is that? Who brought trouble into the house? Me? Who's the big shot gangster around here? Me? That was 30 years ago. If it wasn't for me, you'd have been in prison 30 years ago. If I didn't make you tell the truth about Big Dolly Palatka, you'd be a convict, a jailbird. I never done any time. I ain't no criminal. Yeah. They only let you off because you gave evidence, and you only gave evidence because of me. Can't you ever forget it? Isn't it about time we buried the old days and forget them? I'll never forget them. And I won't let you forget them either. I had to beg and plead. And the judge put you on probation in my custody. My custody. And I've been there ever since. Yes, and you still are. One false move, Mr. Big Shot Gangster. And maybe I could still have you put in jail. Uh, what's the use? What's the use? Don't walk away from me like that, you, you torpedo. Oh, my arm, will you? Mother, please, not now. I'll teach you to turn your back while I'm talking. Mom! Mom! Uh, that's all right, Rhea. That's all right, Dolores. Slap all you want. Huh. You're only hitting a corpse anyway. So say what you want to say and do what you want to do. Doesn't matter. I don't matter. Nothing matters anymore. Why don't you just go in the living room, sit down, and shut up. Don't touch anything. Don't say anything. Maybe if you keep your mouth shut, nobody will know you're a freak. <laughs> Dolly, ain't you been thinking? This is crazy. I went along with you because I thought you'd get the idea once you got used to being on the outside. Shut up and keep driving. This just ain't being done no more, boys. Except maybe on television. We're like a rerun, Dolly. Look, the guy is in his late 60s. What's the difference? Dolly, it's been 30 years. You got a few years left. Enjoy it. 30 years, that's what I've been thinking about. While I was in there for 30 years, he was laughing at me, eating, drinking, sleeping the way I wanted to do. I was going to live good with class. I hate to say this, Dolly, but you know, Hacken, I had a lot of time to think. We was never much good, our kind. Not to nobody else, not to ourselves. Maybe we got what we deserve. All right, now, look, what do you want? I'll just drop me near the house and I'll pay the fare. No. Nah. I'll stick. What do you want me to do? Just cover the back door, that's all. How are you going to do? I'm just going to give him one good long look at me. A 30-year look. 
And then I'm going to slug him with as many bullets as this gun holds. Step on it, will you? Well, I guess we're all ready. Are you coming, Rita? Yes, Mom. Come on, Pop. I'm coming. Uh, I'll get it. Okay. Hello? Yeah, it is him. Yeah? Thanks. Who is that? The bartender at Shakey's, a place I used to go to in town. Where are you going? To the basement. I gotta get you. But, Pop! Frankie, come back here. I don't like this. What are you doing down there? We want to leave, Frankie. What is it, Mom? You look like something's wrong. I don't know, but I'm afraid. I remember phone calls a long time ago. Frankie! What are you doing? Just getting ready for something I didn't count on. Where'd you get that gun from? Just a little keepsake I hung on to. But I always kept it nice. Now listen to me, you two. Big Dolly is out. And he's on his way here right now. What are you doing? Turning the table over for a shield, that's all. Now pull down the shades and get upstairs. That's him. Get away from the windows. Get away from the door and, and get upstairs. Don't worry. He's in for a big surprise. Come on in. It's open. That's you, Frankie. Hello, Dolly. I've been waiting for you. Yeah, and I don't pull that trigger, Frankie. I'll get two of you anyway before I go down. I ain't making a move till you do, Dolly. Don't try nothing. Left these out in the back. It's your move, Dolly. I want to hear you sing, Frankie. Baby, goodbye forever. Sing it with all you got. There won't be no encore, Canary. Now, just a minute, both of you. And you, Frankie, you, you ridiculous old man. Give me that gun. Stay away from me, Dolores. I said, give me that gun. There. Now, go and sit down on that couch and be quiet. I'll handle this. You're just a useless old man trying to be something you never were. But, Dolores. Fat Frankie Carlo. You were a cheap little hoodlum before I ever married you. And nothing at all after that. Imagine you trying to be big and brave all this child's play. You should have been ashamed of yourself. Ah, oh, Dolores. <laughs> <laughs> Get a load of this. Boy, were you ever right about Frankie? <laughs> He's just a little silly old man. <laughs> and I thought he was living it up while I was down in the jug. <laughs> All the time I was cooling off in the can. That Frankie was roasted in hell. <laughs> Theater 5 has presented The Kiss Off, written by Mordecai Siegel and directed by Ted Bell.